What's up, YouTube? It's JP Dumpy. Your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. In today's video, for the first time ever, I'm actually going to be able to show you and go over BMW's M traction control in a manual M3. So this is the pre-LCI, so it still has the iDrive 7 in it. But if between the two LCI uh, iDrive, iDrive 7 to iDrive 8, you're still going to have the same basic setup here, and it's still going to work the same way. With that. Let's dive in. You know, whenever you want to go into this, you can get there by pressing the setup button. Now you might notice right down here, configuration only possible when DSC is off. So you have your standard setups right in, right in here uh, for all things that you've expected before. But the reason trash and con M trash control basically have its one to 10 options in there is basically how much it's going to kick in or not kick in. So to get there, you have to first go down here, you press your option. Press and hold for a couple seconds, so instead of going to MBM mode, you go to traction off. And as you see, that also gives you the option right down here for your M traction control. Now, when you change that, you get a nice little indicator right down here to let you know exactly which level it's at on here. So, as you tailor your drift ability in, so again, anywhere from 1 to 10, it lets you know right down here which level you are at as well. This is made so you can tailor your drift to exactly your standards. And of course the drift analyzer rates your drift right up here. Now let's go to a closed course and I will show you not only the different levels. So I'll just do a level one, level five and level 10. And then also show you how to activate your launch control when you have a manual transmission. You ready? Before we actually go and go over the uh, traction control with my fearless uh, friend with me here. Uh, I just want to go over one other thing if you are interested in that manual control and uh, manual transmission and launch control. So the engine is warmed up, everything else here is otherwise set and ready. So how do we do it? We start by going onto our traction button right here, press once so we go into M M D M D M mode, M dynamic mode. With an M dynamic mode, as long as the as long as you are less than 30 degrees for your steering wheel, flat level ground, all you have to do Put your left foot on the clutch, engage first gear, that's reverse, <laughs> engage first gear, and at this point, you floor it. Preparing launch control, launch control active at that point, and that's that. So right now we have M traction control up at level 10 right off the bat. This thing is going to give us the most assist, if you will. So when he picks up that back end, it gives you next to none. So see, it still keeps him very in control. Very minimum oversteer. Kicking it, kicking it down to level five now, you'll see now it allows a little more rear end out. So what it does with that, it now is still adjusting exactly how much he can kick it out, but still gives him a nice safety net in the process. Now, with it down to zero, there's just nothing kicking in. Meaning that all every time he wants to kick out that end, it's full power out. As long as he is able to drift, it is going to. <laughs> Look at the smoke. But yes. So that is M traction mode in the nutshell. So basically, again, we went from level 10, which is the most assist, to level five, mid assist, and all the way to level zero, which is no assist. So using that, you can actually tailor exactly how much drift you want and make sure this car handles the way you want. So with that, thanks so much for being with us. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to see any more videos like this, please let me know. And anytime we get a car that can do what I haven't been able to do yet, I will let you know and make that video. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.